Hi, Jason. Hi. Thank you for coming. We're going to demonstrate some Alexander techniques, specifically table work. You game? Yeah. Ready? Yes. Okay, I need you to sit here in the middle of the table with your feet hanging over the edge. That's right. Now you swing your feet onto the mat there. That's right. And scoot down just a bit. That's right. You're doing exactly right, getting into the middle of the table. And then you just roll down and lie down with your head on the books. That's right. And the reason we use books is because it gives a very firm surface and tells the head you are fully supported and that helps the neck to release. So that is advantageous. Good. Okay. And then we like to put the hands in this kind of position. And we take our time and you allow me to do it. When, when you're away from your Alexander lesson, you can do it on your own and that's most of the week and then when you're with the Alexander teacher because we're trying to retrain neural pathways it's good to let the teacher do it and so that's something that takes a while for people to learn to allow the teacher the Alexander teacher to move the arms and legs and you'll see I, I, we take everything slowly because the first thing we want to do is really calm that internal noise and get everything to calm down and the breathing to change to become slower more even and we give that space and time one of the most important features of an alexander lesson is giving time just learning how to pause learning how to stop learning how to slow down and allow, this is the magic dynamic of the Alexander Technique, learning how to allow. Oh, I can pick up quite a bit of neck tension, so I'm really glad we're getting this opportunity to help you with that. That's great. How long has your neck been a bit tight? Last a week or so, maybe. Okay, a bit of stress and tension, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what happens to all of us. We, you would see, and there it is in your lower back, reflecting into your lower back. So those muscles have been tight as well, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Good. Okay. So this is very good. You're allowing me. Oh, except now you try to take over. So let me do it. That's good. No, that's fine. It's perfectly usual. And there we are. That's nice. Now you're allowing me to move and bend your leg. That's perfect. Is that comfortable enough for you? Yeah. Okay. Would you like your heels a little closer to your body? Is that better? Like okay yeah it looks a little bit far i'll do it for you this is the hard part letting the teacher do it that's right you let go of your muscles now that's exactly what we're looking for where you sent a message from your brain to your body to say let the teacher do it let the muscles release that is exactly what we're looking for and we do need that engagement we do need that participation from the student because I'm the teacher you're the student this is a lesson and actually that's the wonderful thing about the Alexander technique is that this isn't a treatment it's a lesson and we're teaching your whole psychophysical being through a kinesthetic experience how to release tension how to decontract how to change it's actually very profound and wonderful technique, the Alexander technique. That's good. That's good. How's it feeling so far? It's very comfortable. Comfortable, good. All right, so you're a little bit twisted this way, which is generally normal, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands under your back, I'm going to slide them out, I'm going to lengthen your back as I do that. And you just allow me to do it. I do not want you to help, because if you help, it could even cause me to get pulled around and we don't want that. There we go. Nice. That's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The best feeling. I love that feeling. Excellent. this leg 
and you're going to let me do it and then I slide it out and we let it just relax on the table and there's your back, your lower back doing much better. And see when you have got lower back tension this lying in semi-supine is very helpful because it helps to release these muscles over here and on the inside, these deep layer of muscles called the iliopsoas muscles, they are released when you are in semi-supine, which means you have your knees bent and your feet flat. And so that's very advantageous. This is very good. And one of the things you can think of as you're lying there is actually look at the ceiling above your head, directly above your head. That's right. That's, that's it, because that changes the organization of your neck, even your tongue. You may want to check that your tongue isn't uh, tightened up at the roof of your mouth, but is able to relax. Check that your jaw isn't gripping. That's nice. That's it. Can you feel that release in the legs? It's amazing, isn't it? Because it feels like your leg is getting longer. And uh, in a way it is because it's decontracting. But of course it can't truly get longer because our muscles can get longer, but um, our muscles do not determine our final length. They can shorten us, but our bones determine what our full length should be. And so sometimes it's quite useful just to think, oh, I'm going to stop my muscles from interfering with my bones. And I'm going to let my bones determine my length. And quite a nice direction is to be aware of the soles of your feet and the top of your head and to just let that be as long as it wants to be from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And let it be its full length and f aha, see that did give you extra release. Just thinking of that full distance. That's very nice. Now we release the calf muscles just a little bit more. Now check there. I'll explain that more on the other side. On your, right, on your right leg. And then I take hold of the foot, which is really the heel and the ankle, but it's holding the foot. And then I just Courage length all the way through the entire chain of muscle from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, the whole chain of muscle. Let that lengthen and open a nice free hip joint as well. That's very good. Now I replace this leg and let's do the right leg. Yeah, on this side I'd like to explain a little bit that what we want to do is get this tissue to soften and release because sometimes the muscles just bind on the bone and they, you get muscle bound and if you can let the muscles just separate from the bone and release their grip and allow the bone to be mobile inside the suit of muscles if you think of your muscles it's a perfectly fitting suit that is ideal and it's a suit that allows you to move. That's it. Very good. And you can see that your breathing is nice and different. Good. Lovely. Lovely. That's it. Just get into that calf muscle, a little bit of tension in there sure why you probably know that's it see that helped your foot open up didn't it mm -hmm. yeah good it's the interesting thing with the alexander technique is that it is not that clear what's going on when you're watching it it could actually be like watching the grass grow or something but if you're receiving it, it's, it's as if there's a huge amount happening, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. And because there is a huge amount happening. But the most important thing that's happening is the qualitative change 
from stiff and tense and stressed to soft and relaxed and flowing. And then the other big dynamic is the up direction that we want in Alexander Technique versus being pulled down. That's lovely. Very nice. Good. Okay, here we go. Leg up. And I didn't get to ask you, but was there a big difference between your left leg and your right leg when we'd only done one? Yes. Well, my right leg's been having a bit of pain this week anyway. Oh. It's certainly feeling better. Okay. Now. So was it in your whole leg or just somewhere specific? In the upper leg. Oh, it was, was it sciatic pain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I did feel that tension in your back. But then it's just as well that we're here today, isn't it? Okay, now take your knees back towards your chest one at a time. That's it. And now the other one. That's it. It's better to lift your legs one at a time and then down one at a time. So that one. Cool. Brilliant. Thank you. Excellent. Good. All right. Okay. You know, I think we could do with another. Let's see. This way, this way. No, I think this is the right height box. I was thinking perhaps another book under the head, but there we go. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? It's such a relief. And it's good to get the skin of the scalp moving too. That's also super relaxing. And surprisingly profound way. And then the lab there. Oh, that's very nice. Nice, nice. Excellent. All right. So now, going to do the shoulders and you did injure this shoulder didn't you yes all right that was quite an accident wasn't it it was how is your shoulder now is it doing better mostly functional now just the occasional bit of pain especially when the air pressure is changing or i've slept at a strange angle okay i'm just going to check i'll do a comparison of this this shoulder so this was an actual break, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And how long ago was that now? That would have been it's May now. About it was eight July, August. Ago. Yeah. It was August last year. Yeah. Okay, so that's your standard. So I check the one arm to see what your mobility is and then I'd compare with the injured one. So we'll do this, this. Oh, it's excellent. You have no loss of mobility. They really rehabbed you well, didn't they? They did a good job. Wow, good surgeon, good physical therapy. These are very important aspects of rehab, isn't it? Yeah. You've done a great job. Wow, look at that. But it's nice to have someone else move your arm, isn't it? It's very nice. That was. It's kind of a relief. When I wasn't able to do it on my own, it was a fantastic feeling having it be moved by someone else. Mm, that's good. Let's see. Yeah, so I can see that you have a, a kind of a desk job because I can tell from the amount of tension here in the shoulders mm -hmm. and the amount of tension through here. So this is where the tissue has narrowed and shortened a little bit on a habitual basis. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll open that up a little bit. And uh, this is one of my favorites. I think, you know, I came to the Alexander Technique because I had such tight shoulders. So this was always very meaningful for me. There we go. Good. It's a relief, isn't it? Feel it opening up. Exactly. And that's what we want. That's it. Ooh, good one. You see, there's the 
little shoulder area opening up, a little rotator cuff tissue and kind of reorganizing itself and that's what we want and so then we can just open up that way and you'll feel a big difference from side to side now. Good. So we have to do this side and I'm sorry my back will be to the camera but that's okay. myself around this way. And what's important is that, you know, I've been teaching this technique so long that my hand actually can mold to the shape of someone's body. That's it. Ooh, good one, huh? It's very tight. Okay, this is just where you can feel the tightness, yeah, right? It yeah. feels much improved. That's it. You see there, this tissue here is a little bit, yeah, so we can get in there a little bit and we get that to release. But the thing is never to work anything too hard because then you can hurt yourself again and that's not desirable. That's very nice. How's that? It's much better. Oh, good. All right. And then the big, big deal in the Alexander Technique is the head-neck-back relationship. We like to really help that in a very integrated fashion. That's it. And you'll feel your whole spine let go. And some people can feel this move all the way into the tips of their toes. And I get a feeling it is getting to just above your knees, uh, awareness wise. Just a little bit of a hint getting through below the knees and the feet. That's it. That's it. Very, 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 very good. Very nice. Thank you, Jason. I can't thank you enough for being willing to come and let us demonstrate the Alexander technique for everybody. It's good. a pleasant benefit for me as well. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you.